Welcome to Vlogmas Fitness Edition. I know I do a lot of fitness videos these days, but I'm so motivated. I'm so passionate. And I want you guys to be healthy with me and just look better and feel better with me. I'm going to try to do a walkthrough with you. So instead of doing a voiceover, I'm actually going to talk to you like live in person. So all you need is just to be at home. I wanted to do a quick easy home workout for those of you guys who don't have time for the gym or you just don't feel comfortable at the gym. All you need to buy are resistant bands. You can buy them in store or you can buy them online on Amazon or eBay. Just put in resistant bands. Um, they have bundles with a light resistant band, medium and hard. Um, and heavy I mean so the heavy ones it's just a lot harder to stretch out so you're using more muscle so it's it's pretty advanced I honestly never used heavy before so this is gonna be a challenge but if I can do it you can do it and that's pretty much all you need and also some water I got some funky vans on if you a hater you can just keep hating but whatever I like them It'll also be awesome if you had a mat, but I don't have a mat because I usually go to the gym. Um, but yeah, let's just get started, shall we? This is my water. Definitely very, very important to hydrate yourself. Just drink a lot of water throughout your workout. Okay, for the first exercise, one leg at a time. Literally, you're just gonna kick up. Oh my God, this resistant band is so hard. Um, I don't really recommend wearing shorts because it, the rubber band kind of burns your thighs, but I just want to look cute or whatever. So actually, I think we're at four or five. Let's just say four. And five. And kick up as high as you can. Six. And it's just straight in the air. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You should feel it in your hamstrings and your glutes. Um, so straight up. One. Two, three. Oh my god, this is so hard. I usually do it with the medium resistant band, and I can't talk and count at the same time. I think I'm at seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do it again. Three, four. I'm really feeling it in my hamstrings. Your hamstrings are back here, your quads are in the front. All right, I just finished. Um, Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay, if you're doing it right, if you're challenging yourself, you will definitely feel it on your upper hamstrings and your glutes. I'm in my mom's room, so don't mind my mom's clothes. But okay, we're going to go again. This is the third set. So set meaning, you know, like cycle. Another really cool exercise, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to pulse it. So keep it up in the air and pulse it lightly. You'll see what I mean. One, two. You could also do it three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you really feel it on your butt, like straight on your butt, not just your thighs. If you don't feel it in your butt, girl, you need to up your resistant band or just change it up a little bit, your position. When you keep it up there, really just hold it steady, pulse it, and kick up as high as you can. And it's gonna be difficult, one, two, three, to keep it up there, but you're gonna just have to push through it, one, two, three, and do the same thing. 10 reps each leg, three times. For this next exercise, you're gonna lay on your back, okay? Lay on your back, resistant band on your thighs, same thing, it will be best to have a weight, whether you have a dumbbell or um, whatever, whatever weight you have, a plate at the gym. Um, set the weight like I do it. I put the weight right on my coochie. You're pretty much going to push your hips up in the air so that you'll squeeze your butt and really feel the burn. Push through your heels, which is back here. Because when you're pushing back here, it works the hamstrings and the butt more. You don't want to use your toes because that's going to work out your quads. One, two, three. Very important to hold the squeeze in the air. When you're thrusting your hips up and squeezing your butt, hold it two, three seconds down. 
And when you're holding it, you should really feel the burn. I usually do about 15 of these reps. So one, two, three, that'll be one. About 15 of them and then I'll rest because it burns so bad. One, two, three. And then I try to do two to three sets. Another way to do these is to lift one leg in the air. This is gonna work out the butt on this side because you're using only this leg right here to bring you up. So right now, my butt on this side is burning a lot. When you do one side, don't forget to do the other or else your butt will look bigger on one side. So I'm just gonna show you. What I did was I lifted one. So now, now I'm working out the other glute try to thrust it as high as you can and like i said when you're up really squeeze the butt tight okay we're gonna do good old squats i like to do sumo squats when your legs are shoulder width apart like your shoulders are right here they're parallel with sumo you spread them wider so now that you have them spread your toes are pointing forward you want to point them outwards so out out Okay, now that we're in this position, we're gonna squat. I like to pulse. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. For these, I try to do 15 to 20 reps. It's best to get really low, as low as you can. Oof! I'm do more donkey kicks, except this time we're gonna stand. I bend my knees a little bit, I hold on to something, and I kick, and I kick slightly outwards so that I feel it on my glutes. Oh my god, these are crazy. Like I said, try to kick out instead of going just up. Instead of going just back, I like to do outwards a little bit to where you're kind of spreading your legs more. I find that that really targets the glutes for me, especially the outer glutes. And it should definitely should definitely be burning. You can do pulses with these two if you want. But damn, that hurts. Okay, so last workout. You're going to lay on your stomach. And literally you're going to lift both legs in the air, hold it for 3 seconds and down. 1 2 3 and when you, so your arms aren't doing anything, I go for you. Lift, one, two. And when you're in the air, you're flexing your butt. You're literally squeezing it as if you have like a penny in between your crack. And you can't let it go. One, two, squeeze the butt. Down and relax. Up, squeeze the butt. Right here, relax. Up, squeeze the butt. Every time you squeeze the butt, it's working the muscle, and it should really hurt. Out. Oh, this one's a little bit more advanced. You're gonna lift it up together, spread your legs all while squeezing it together, down. Up, squeeze, spread it apart, still squeezing, back in, and down. Oh my god, wow. Up, spread it apart, in, down. I got a nice pump. Hey.